Hey there, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Here we are. Uh, holy cow. What it, middle of middle of February, towards the end of February, I've lost count. Uh, this year has flown by so fast. Uh, happy Wednesday to everybody. 11 o'clock Central. Uh, that's where I'm located anyway, and that's where our organization is located. Uh, Ian, uh, happy Wednesday to you. Glad you're joining me here today. How you doing, brother? Yeah, Caleb. Gr- glad to be here. Glad to take this opportunity to be able to, you know, help our vets and give them some more information. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff today, guys. I'm super excited to do this with Caleb. Uh, him and I have had conversations over the week about this. So super yeah. stoked. We'll get rolling here, uh, here in a few minutes. Yeah, no, love it. Yeah, no, we, uh, we've been doing a lot of preparation for this, uh, this topic. We're super, super excited to be, uh, presenting our uh, our findings and our material to you uh, over the next hour or so. So, um, you know, buckle up. We're going to have a good time today. So, again, happy Wednesday to everyone joining us, uh, whether you're a veteran or a family or friend of a veteran. Thanks so much for, uh, for jumping on board with us. I see a couple comments already popping up. People are joining us from all over the country and, and I'm sure all over the world. Um, please let us know where you're tuning in from. You know, you if, you, if you'd like, go ahead and drop your branch. Uh, you know, the branch you served in, uh, maybe the years you serve, maybe your MOS, uh, tell us which location you're checking in from. If you're an elite member, if you're part of our elite program, feel free to to add that on. Give us a shout out for, uh, you know, whoever your coach may be. Um, so we'd love to we'd love to be able to recognize them and recognize you as well. Um, as we give shout outs here, as we, as we get started here. So yeah, super important topic today. We're going to get into that in a few minutes. Um, It's all, it's going to be all about va.gov and how to maximize that website. And and we're going to talk about a lot of the benefits that you can actually initiate uh, going through that, that website and that portal. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with that here in a few minutes. Okay, so again, as people are making a few comments here, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to read our VA claims um, disclaimer. Okay, as we get started here again, as more people are commenting here, we'll give people uh, a little bit more time with that. So our uh, our company's disclaimer, VA claims insider disclaimer, goes like this: We are not accredited agents, VSOs, attorneys, or any or any other entity recognized by the Department of Veterans Affairs or the VA, and we are not affiliated with the VA in any way. VA Claims Insider is an education-based coaching slash consulting company for disabled veterans exploring eligibility for increased VA disability benefits and who wish to learn more about that process. VA Claims Insider also connects veterans with vetted, independent medical professionals within our referral network for medical examinations and independent medical opinions, or IMOs, for a wide range of disability conditions. Okay, so we got that, got that taken care of. Uh, Ian, what do you say here? We got a few comments here in the comment box. What do you think we uh, give a few shout outs? Yeah, I, I see a couple of my vets here, a couple of guys here from the Army, the Air Force, uh, even a Coastie, our Coast Guard. So welcome, welcome home, guys. Uh, Derek Smith from New Jersey, uh, Dan Ruiz, uh, Navy Submariner from 99 to 04. Uh, another U.S. Army, 81 and 92 from New York. Welcome, Joseph. Love uh, it. I got a couple. I got a couple names here. I'd like to give uh, give a shout out to. So I've got a friend of mine, actually, Sean Goyette. He and I, uh, he and I actually went to school together uh, back in the day after we both got out. And uh, so, I'd like to give him a quick shout out. Thanks for joining us, Sean. Appreciate you being here. Uh, he served in the Army, um, 98 to 06. He's an elite member as well. So awesome. I've got a few fellow Marines here in the room. Semper Fi to all my devil dogs. Great to see you here in the room or joining us on this Facebook Live. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Mark Young, 83 to 92. My MOS is in that title, 52 Delta, which became 91 Delta. Along with wheel mechanic, because later in your career, you're going to get to move on to something else. You know, I was a shop foreman and I was a motor sergeant and all those things too. So super glad to have you, Mark. Thanks for coming. Nice. Awesome. You know, Don, we've got Carol. Um, a couple, couple marks here in the room. Mark Nichols, Mark Young, Jamie Castro, Richard, Arthur. A lot of Army in the house. A lot of Marines in the house. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Well, thank you all for checking in. This is incredible. 
this is incredible. Like I said, we've got a we've got a great topic coming up here uh, in a few minutes. We're going to talk about VA.gov and all the benefits that you can access through that website. Um, a little bit about myself. As some of you may know, you may have watched some of our lives before and, and, and seen my face on some of our lives before. My name is Caleb McLagan. I am a team leader here. I'm a veteran coach manager here within VA Claims Insider. And, um, you know, I got out of the Marine Corps um, after serving five years in the infantry and I was stuck. I was frustrated and I was I was underrated basically with my, when it came to my disability um, service connected conditions. And I was able to fight and claw my way up to 80% with the VA. And then I found this company and thank God I did, but I found this company and this company was able to help me close that gap and be recognized for what I deserve for all the injuries I sustained in the Marine Corps um, and, and everything else that I that I um, lawfully deserve to be recognized for on the disability side. So anyway, I came through this process with VA Claims Insider. Um, I won all of my claims within about eight or nine months. This was during the height of COVID when things kind of slowed down. But um Anyway, that's a little bit about my story as a veteran client who came through this process. And, um, and then I was actually hired the same month that I won all my claims. And now I get to share my success with all the veterans on my team, all of my coaches who are on my team. And I, I can't imagine doing anything else but, uh, but again, serving my, uh, my country or our nation's heroes uh, continuing to do this work here. So again, super meaningful and, and super happy to be here serving all of our veterans that we have here within our program. So a little bit about me, we'll get into what our program does in a few minutes, but Ian, go ahead and take it away. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, Caleb, thanks. Um, Army vet served from uh, 97 to 98 the first time, Love and Bravo. Well, Love and Bravo, Love and Mike, kind of in, in the same categories, but me mainly met Love and Mike, which is mechanized infantry. Got out for a little while, had some issues with my feet, and actually had to get a congressional to get back in, to, to get a waiver. Um, joined in 05 and stayed until 2015. Unfortunately, I sustained some injuries in combat. Um, there was a story, there was a movie, there was a book written about it. If you ever heard of The Outpost, that's, the, that's our story. Um, so if you want to check out a, something that is truly uh, heartfelt to me and, and dear to my heart, that's, that's one of those things that it was part of my history and part of my story. Um, how I got here? Well, by chance, I was looking for a, a, a remote position somewhere. And um, actually turned down a six-figure job to work with, for VA Claims Insider and haven't looked back. Start out as a BDR or business develop representative. You know, our, our gal, guys and gals over there that help you get on board and get you started with the process. And then eventually, uh, Caleb and the team uh, got me on board as a coach because it was my end goal. You know, that was my why. I wanted to do this. I wanted to serve you guys. I wanted to be a part of this organization organization in a bigger uh, bigger piece. So, um, and then another piece of that too, I was a client just like Caleb, um, was struggling and, uh, was sitting at 90% for about seven years, um, with appeals and claims and just decided that, uh, this process was what I needed. And, uh, with the help of our guys and gals over at Telemedica and my coach, uh, which he's no longer here, but Travis was an amazing coach and got me to the 100% permanent in total, just like Caleb as well. Um, it was life changing, and that's that's pretty much what I, I tell all my all my veterans too is this process uh, getting to that milestone is life changing. Right, right, yeah, 100. Mm -hmm. 100%. Like I like I said, I couldn't agree with you more. It is life changing each and every day doing the uh, doing the work that we do around here. And again, it's super meaningful. So um, we actually have uh, a fellow veteran, 100% uh, percenter here in the room with us. Aaron, uh, I think PLOS is how you probably pronounce that last name, 100% because of the help of VA Claims Insider. So thank you, Aaron, for being here. Appreciate the shout out back back to our company uh, here as well as we get started here. So that's awesome. Um, Ian, what do you say we break down a little bit about uh, about our organization, you know, talk about uh, the strategy, education, and medical evidence piece of things? Sure. So the, the strategy, the, the bigger piece of whenever you're talking to your coach, you're working up that game plan, that strategy, that roadmap to the claim. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very key to listen to what the coach is talking about, um, whatever that happens to be. 
it may not be something that you want to go after, but we are uh, after your best interests uh, when it comes to this strategy. So, you know, pay in mind what, what your coach is telling you. Um, if you're not on board yet, you know, go ahead and, and get on with that, that 30 day or that 30 minute phone call with one of our business development representatives. Mm -hmm. So you can get on board and start this process. So claim submission. Um, that's uh, the education. I'm sorry. The education part of it, I'm getting ahead of myself here. You're okay. You're okay. The education part of it is all the resources, all the things that your coach is going to give to you. And we've got resources here right on right on Facebook, on YouTube, and all those things as far as our free resources available to you as well. Um, but once you do become an elite member, if you're not already one, um, you're going to get a large resource tab built inside of our portal too. That's going to be a big part of the education process. Um, this is the big part of why we are here too is – that bigger piece of the education that helps you get along with this as well. And then finally, the medical evidence. So our partners over at Telemedica, um, they help us out with this evidence, whether it's a Nexus letter, a DBQ, or even possibly just a psych IMO. Maybe you've got a condition for uh, a psychological issue, a mental health issue. Um, and a mental health is mental health. We're, we'll say that a hundred times too, as, as far as coaches. Um, and uh, that process uh we we will will coach you through that process so that you're not through falling through the wayside as well you're not going to just get thrown over to telemedica and say hey go check these guys out no we're, right. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be with, there with you we're gonna be in your corner we're gonna have your six right right yeah and, and that's exactly right i mean the main the main uh thing that we want to remember here is with the with the va claims insider elite program is you're set up with a with a coach you have a one-on-one -on -one coach to help navigate this entire process with you. And uh, and like Ian said, we help arm you with a strategy. We walk you through um, the best strategy to, to successfully win your claim. Okay. And then we arm you with a bunch of education. All right. Our insider portal is full of a bunch of resources. We host live classes almost every day throughout the week. So you can actually spin up your education as you go through this process. And then like Ian mentioned, you know, we're, we're going to help get you in touch with the medical professionals. So you can go out and get the medical evidence that you need to help win your claim. Okay. The number one reason that VA claims are denied, the number one reason disability claims are denied is because of a lack of medical evidence. Okay. So that is our three-step SEM method. That's what we call that SEM method. Okay, so again, if you do decide to join our elite program, you'll be assigned a coach, you'll work one on one with that coach, you'll have strategy sessions, uh, they'll walk you through on how to submit your claim. So you'll actually submit the claim on your own, while your coach is walking you through that. And then on top of that, we help prepare you for any and all of your examinations, whether you go to a live class, or you get on the phone with your coach for a one on one coaching session to help prepare you for those uh, for those, whether they're a CMP exam or whatever medical exam you have upcoming, whether it's with Telemedica or through the VA or one of their contracted partners. OK, so and like I mentioned, you know, we do hold live classes throughout the week. You know, every morning we start off the day with uh, with a class on Zoom that we called Coffee with the Coaches. It's a great time to break into the day, break into the week. Come hang out with your fellow veterans, come hang out with coaches, have your questions answered, share life stories, uh, personal stories about your life, maybe a recent win, whether it's disability claim related or not. Um, and then on top of that, um, at noon and seven o'clock, and I'm using central time as, as the, uh, the, the time zone here, but at noon, we have, uh, we have our live prep classes and then seven o'clock at night, we have our live prep classes, whether they're mental health exams that you're preparing for or physical medical exams that you're, uh, that you're prepping up for. So like Ian mentioned, if you, if you do need to get in touch with us, or you, you would like to have a conversation with one of our business development representatives, go ahead and sign up for that free discovery call. Okay. We'll drop the link here in the in the comments here in a minute there it is thank you everyone in the back um yeah jump on that link book a discovery call with one of our representatives and uh and they'll make sure to uh answer all your questions and make sure that our organization and our program is a good match for you if it's not a good match then it's not a good match that's okay um but go ahead and book that free discovery call and uh and have any and all of your questions answered okay so awesome Awesome. Love that. Um, you can also check us out and find us on VA, 
uh, vaclaimsinsider.com. You can find us out on YouTube. We have a lot of free resources there. We're an education and consulting company. So we actually have free resources all over, uh, all over YouTube as well. So you can go ahead and get some help there. Okay. Um, got a couple questions jumping in the, uh, in the comments box. We're going to, we're going to do our best to get to, uh, each and every one of them, either during this live session or after this live session is over, we do go back through all the comments and, and give you an answer as quickly as possible. So, uh, so don't worry, we will be getting to all the comments in, in one way, shape or form or another, but let's go ahead and get to our topic. What do you say, Ian? Yeah. What is our topic today? What are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about the VA process, uh, how to navigate it. Um, we're talking about an intent to file. We're talking about how to file a claim. We're talking yeah. a little bit about educational benefits and a couple other things too. So we've got a, we've got a quite a few things to, to go over. This is going to be a very fulfilling class, I would say. This is very uh, informational. Uh, if it's stuff that you already know, great. Uh, if it's not, uh, also good too. You know, we're we're here for for that process so that you can actually get the information that you need, you know, the education, we're providing some more education for you uh, with along with, like I said, the educational benefits. So we'll, we'll have some conversations about both, you know, your, your benefits uh, after you get out and even your, your spouse and your, your dependent benefits as well, if you're hundred percent. So uh, yeah, we'll get yeah. into it. Cool. All right. So our topic here today, are you, taking full advantage of va.gov so we'll do a quick orientation of va.gov we'll show you the landing page we'll show you the uh the main page here if we can go ahead and drop those slides and make those visible to everybody that would be that would be awesome here we go so we have let me get oriented here slide number one all right so when you type in va.gov you're going to see a page that looks like this or very similar uh, up in the top left-hand corner, I like to learn, I, or I like to look at things and orient myself from uh, from top down and left to right. So looking up in the top left-hand corner, we have uh, the letters VA in white. We have that VA logo up in the top left-hand corner. If you are ever lost on this website, just a quick pro tip, if you're ever lost on this website, you don't know how to navigate back to this homepage, click that VA logo up in the top left-hand corner. That'll bring you back to these four boxes that you see here. Okay. So that'll bring you back to this landing page. Okay. So just a little pro tip there. So that top left-hand corner, the, the VA logo uh, is up there in the top left-hand corner on the top right-hand corner. You see that light blue box. At least that's how it appears to me. I don't know. I don't know if that appears light blue to everybody else, but light blue uh, sign in, uh, sign in button up in the top right-hand corner. That's where you're actually going to log in. Okay, that's where you're actually going to log in, and we'll walk through a little bit with the login steps here in a second. But as you can as you can see here, I mentioned the four boxes here. These are uh, these are the four main topics that this uh, this landing page is going to take care of. So if you have uh, healthcare questions or healthcare benefits that you need to do some research in or or, or sign up for, you have that healthcare block. Uh, we have the education block. We have, of course, we have the disability block. And then um, after that, finally, we have the records block. And we'll, we'll take a deep dive into, into some of these topics and, and the, and the subcategories here as well as we get started. So uh, like I mentioned here, um, once you click that light blue button up in the top right hand corner, that sign in button, you're going to have uh, four ways of signing in here okay so four ways to go ahead and log into your va.gov website um, login.gov that's a fairly new avenue on how to log in if you want to go ahead and, and log in that way you have to set up an account really you have to set up an account with all of these but uh, my favorite to use is the id.me login that green box that comes in second and then um, of course you have the ds login option and then the my healthy vet login option at the at the bottom there so id.me is my favorite and then the my health event um is my is my other go-to as well as we get signed in here so um i do want to mention this as we were building this slide deck um there when you when you pull up va.gov there will be a red banner across the top with the crisis center hotline okay the the way to access the crisis center if you if you're in crisis um, if you're a veteran who needs help um, click on that red banner. Here, here is the number. Here is the text thread. Um, here, here's how you can start a chat message with somebody on the other end. There is somebody on the other end, day or night, so they will answer 24/7. So if you're a veteran in crisis or concerned about another veteran, uh, a friend or a family member, go ahead and give these people, uh, reach out to these people, 
and uh, and they will get you the help that you need. Okay, so I just want to make sure everyone's aware of that. That is one way you can find the crisis center hotline. Okay. Um, after that, after you're signed in, we come back to this uh, landing page. Uh, Ian, do you want to go ahead and uh, and discuss our next topic? We're going to talk a little bit about the healthcare side of VA.gov and what we can um, what we can find on this healthcare page. Uh, I think you muted, brother. Can you go ahead and check your audio? There we go. Sorry about that. Yes. We're okay. Well, let's talk about you know being able to check for your prescriptions your upcoming appointments, the secure messaging portal, and your health records. So any of your refills, any of your pharmacy stuff that you need to access, you can do from the privacy of your own home. You actually can click on this pharmacy and do it right here, and they will deliver them directly to your home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, most times that I've come across in, in my experience, it's typically about a three-month supply, so you don't have to worry about going to back to the doctor to do those refills or going to your pharmacy and having to do all those waitings and, and such. And they do this in, this in the sense that they know that a lot of veterans have mental health, and they know that you know we don't want to have to go to the pharmacy uh, twice or once a month or twice a month or what have you, whatever your prescription length is. So uh, a lot of cool stuff in there. You can check out which prescriptions you're currently on. You know, maybe you're getting close to that, the end of that period and you need to go get that re-diagnosed. Uh, this would be a perfect time to, to have a new diagnosis. Maybe you need that new diagnosis for your coach. Um, this is a good, good opportunity for that. Um, second appointments. This keeps you on target. They also send you documentation in, in the old fashioned post service as well. And in, 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 in a, a regular mail, they'll also email you your appointments. Yeah. Well, they really try to make sure that you make these appointments um, on time. Uh, your CMP exams can be populated in this, this as well. Um, most of the time it won't because it's usually done by a contractor. Mm -hmm. Messaging. I love this feature because it can have full access um, and these can be messages from your provider, from a specialty provider, um, but I'm going to go one step further too. And something that's not in here right off the bat is a secure messaging portal. So you can go right here in, in My Healthy Vet and you could talk to your PCP or their nurse directly through an instant messaging. Um, they just recently uh, uploaded or updated this as well, where they have an actual app on your phone and you could chat with a live person 24-7. Now, you, they may not re reach back to you to the very next day, but they will respond within a 24-hour period, typically. Um, and if they don't respond back, call that 800-827-1000 number and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so the next one, health records. We look at this one as, as also known as the blue button report. Uh, this is everything that you've ever been seen for, diagnosed for, or prescribed prescriptions for in this document. From the time that you started your, your, your medical care with the VA. So anything that you've seen for diagnoses and stuff like that, they'll be in there and the locations of where they're at as well. So if you went to say, for example, you know, my example, I started at the Temple VA, which is Olin Teague. Well, then I moved to Cedar Park and now I go to the Austin VA or even the Cedar Park VA. So it shows the track and whatever things that you have uh, as far as your, your locality or your demographics. Um, and there's a lot more stuff in here too, that we can go over as well. Um, the benefits, um, we'll talk, we, we can even talk a little bit about, um, so we're talking about healthcare, uh, a little bit about champ VA. If you're hundred percent, you can go after that. It's a lengthy process. It's about six months, give or take, but, um, it's definitely well worth it. Uh, it works on kind of the same principles as TRICARE, but not the same principles as TRICARE. Right. <laughs> Be clear right. about that too. No, no, that's that's a great that's a great setup because we actually have a few more slides on this as well. But um, you mentioned a couple things. You know, this is this is one spot where you can refill your prescription drugs, uh, set your appointments, or at least modify or, or change your appointments as necessary. You mentioned one thing: if if um, if you're going to file a disability claim, and again, that's where most of uh, most of our work revolves around. If you're going to file a disability claim, you have to be diagnosed with that condition first before you go and file a claim for that condition. If you don't have a diagnosis, you don't have a claim. So what we tell everyone is get to the doctor, make, make an appointment with your, uh, your primary care doctor, they're the gateway to see specialty doctors. You know, if you have to go to the, you know, the ENT, 
the ear, nose, and throat doctor for a respiratory condition. Um, if you need to set up a sleep study, if you think you have sleep apnea, go get a diagnosis, go talk to your doctor, um, get set up for a specialty appointment, go to the doctor, get your diagnosis, and then you can further develop your medical evidence after that to help prove your claim. Uh, another thing I want to uh, touch on is the, the healthcare records or the, the VA health records. You can download your blue button report. The great thing about downloading that blue button report is you can narrow it down by specialty or you can filter it down by date as well. Um, so if you're only looking for a chunk of records from you know, only last year and last year only, you can download uh, last year's records. It's very, very specific. Um, so you can drill down on both of those criteria there as well. So awesome. Cool. All right. So let's go back to the landing page. Again, we like to orient ourselves here. And uh, as we as we get uh, talking about this, um, uh, this website here, one thing I do want to draw everyone's attention to is I forgot to mention earlier, but um, I'll, I'll mention it now because this is where my slide is. Uh, the search function up in the top right hand corner next to the sign in uh, next to the sign in button, this search function, you can literally find everything you need here. If you can't find it on the main landing page, type in whatever you're looking for, a few keywords here in the search function, and it'll, it'll generate a bunch of results, just like a Google search would and uh, within va.gov. And you should be able to find what you're looking for. You know, um, if you're looking to file an HLR, you can type in HLR and it'll uh, the first link that pops up will be how to file an HLR, a higher level review. Um, if you need to add add your dependents, you know, maybe you're at 30 percent and higher now with your disability rating. And now you can, you know, actually add your dependents. You can add your spouse or you can add your children to your VA profile. So you can do that all online as well. So I just want to make sure I pointed out this search function. Super, super important here as we get started. Uh, Ian, and like you said, you know, um, under that, that healthcare block, refill and track your VA prescriptions, they get delivered right to your door, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. You don't have to go wait in line at the pharmacy. I mean, you can if you want, uh, but they do get delivered right to your door uh, if you'd rather not, uh, not leave home. So you do have that functionality there. Um, and then you mentioned, you already did mention the VA secure messaging. The great thing about the VA secure messaging is that goes into your evidence file. OK, any message you send to your doctor, if you're having a migraine, if your back is hurting and you need to go to physical therapy, tell your doctors or tell your medical providers in your VA secure messaging. And that gets entered into the into the evidence of record for your case or for your profile. And then when you go file a claim there, that um, that list of secure messages that will be considered as part of your evidence for your disability claim. So. Again, use that secure messaging function to your advantage there. Okay. All right. Back on the, um, sorry, let me back up. Back on the home page here. We'll go ahead and talk about education next. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think, Ian? This is a pretty powerful tool here, the GI Bill comparison tool. We discussed this the other day. Yeah, it is. And it does by, like it says, by name, by location. So you can search any school uh, in the nation uh, by location and by name. So if you know the name of the school, say, for example, you're going to the school that I went to, uh, TSTC Waco. Uh, it would be TSTC uh, or Texas Tech, Texas Technical College. Um, and then you would put in the location of Waco, Texas. And it would usually find it. That is one of the harder ones to find. But any of the mainstream or the normal ones in Texas, like Texas A&M or University of Texas or TCU, any of those other ones are pretty easy to find. Um, but they will still, of course, uh, warrant them and, and allow you to use them. I used my, my GI Bill for this, this purpose to get my avionics degree and then work into my AMP degree. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, other benefits that go along with the education benefits, not just to include the GI Bill. Uh, there's other chapters that you can use uh, that allow you uh, under certain percentages, of course, too. Um, right. but yeah, this is a great comparison tool to, to figure out where exactly uh, is the best options for you. Right, right. Let's go ahead and talk about um, continuing on with the GI Bill piece of this, you know, how to apply for the GI Bill. Maybe talk a little bit about your experience. Sure. So like I said, I went to TSTC Waco, uh, got my avionics degree, used my GI Bill for this purpose. Um, and then I wanted to go one step further. I wanted to help my brothers and sisters that they were going through this daunting process. So I was actually a veteran. Uh, so there was a veteran service office and I became one of their aides to help them along. So any veteran that come through the door 
you know, we'd ask them for their DD-214 and any documentation that they have to help us along. Well, in Texas, as long as you are a veteran of Texas, you went to MEPS in Texas, and then you, you got out in Texas, you qualify for another benefit called Hazelwood. So check out your state benefits. Maybe you have another benefit that's available to you as well as that state, state veteran. Um, and your criteria may be different, but just in Texas, that's just one of those criteria. And I didn't meet that criteria because I'm from Eastern Montana. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, my MEPS is up there in Montana. So I became a Texas resident after being here for about 10 years. Okay. Um, but yeah, just, just the, the flow of, of having them give their documentation and be able to do all those things. I learned a lot about this process, learned a lot about the application process uh, what the VA looks for and all those things um, when you're when you're processing things and then being careful of uh, any debts. So making sure you're using your benefits and that you're not overusing your benefits, and then you owe it back to them. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, let's talk a little bit since we're on the subject of um, uh, education benefits. Let's talk about a little bit more of the Chapter 31. Um, you know, I have my own experience as well. Um, so the VOC Rehab Program. Um, is available to veterans who have a have a service connected disability. And when I got out of the Marine Corps, I was rated uh, for plantar fasciitis, so a foot condition, right? So I couldn't go back into the construction field and be be working on my feet all day every day. I had to shift my vocation based on my service connected disability. So I went to school for business management. And so the idea is that, okay, due to your disabilities, you can't perform the job that you used to, or, or maybe you can't perform it as well. So what the, what the VA does is they pay for you to go to school um, to learn a new vocation. And um, part of that, I mean, it, it's a pretty incredible program, just the, the Chapter 31 program, uh, the Vogue Rehab program. I mean, the, the VA pays for school, so tuition, they pay for books. They, per, they pay for any equipment that you may need. So for me, going into a business degree program, you know, they paid for computers. They paid for a printer, office supplies. Um, I have friends of mine, personal friends of mine, who went back into a trade. They went back into being a car mechanic. And the VA paid for their, their entire Mac tool set, toolboxes, and, and I don't know. I, I don't know the dollar amount, but so many tools. I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars of, in, in tools. I actually have another friend of mine who um, he went to dive school to be an underwater welder. And they, the VA paid for all of his, uh, all of his dive equipment and, and his schooling to learn that trade as well. So a pretty incredible program use, using that, uh, that Chapter 31 benefit there as well. Um, you do also, while you're going to school um, and the VA picking up the tab for, for your education, they actually pay you a basic housing allowance as well. And that's based on the, um, you know, the zip code of the school. So you can go ahead and search BAH, uh, BAA, uh, excuse me, AH rates for the zip code for your school, and you can actually see how much they'll pay you for your housing allowance as well. So um, anything to add there, Ian, uh, from your experience? No, and, and you, you touched on something that I was going to bring up as well, that, that tool yeah. uh, factor of whatever that, that trade is, whether it's automotive or my case, it was for a &P school and avionics school. Well, those are very specific tools and they have a certain list that they go off of. Mm -hmm. um, once you submit that to VNRE, they'll, they'll, they'll take care of the, the entire bill. And like you said, thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars. There is no cap on this, this benefit either. They have no benefit amount. That's a cap. Like you said, alleviated to, as far as talking about diving equipment, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. So whatever that benefit happens to be, or whatever that vocation that you're trying to go after um, they'll typically pay for it. Uh, of course, you do have to qualify. You do have to go through a process and everything mm -hmm. else too, um, which can be daunting a little bit. But in the end, um, first, firsthand experience, and Caleb is too, uh, it's worth it. It's worth yep. not having to pay that extra bill of a couple thousand dollars for tools or even a couple thousand dollars worth of office supplies to be able to go to school. Right, right. Yeah, pretty, pretty incredible benefit. Again, if you qualify, if you're eligible, um, please, please, please take advantage of, of um, the GI Bill itself or of the Vogue Rehab program that the VA offers. So um, since, again, since we're on the education side, Ian, do you want to talk about Chapter 35? 
Yeah. So we're talking about your, your benefit to your spouse or to your kids. So I'm about ready to have an 18 year old pretty soon in a couple of years, but still she's going to be able to take advantage of that, that benefit. Um, It's for three semesters, roughly about $3,600 total for the benefit. Um, And it it will cover their, their tuition or whatever they want to use it for really. Uh, You can combine it with any of the other scholarships too. They're not going to disqualify Um, so we've never used it personally, but we're getting ready to use it when she starts graduating. And then, um, my wife was able to go back to school for a business school for a short class, uh, virtually for free because I'm a hundred percent. So that was another advantage. Um, of course, that's just one of those things that you have to check on per state. Um, but this benefit is for a hundred percenters. Um, it's, 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 it's solely for a hundred percent, um, so that, once you reach that point, you're able to give back to your, your spouse and your kids. Um, it is qualified uh, on the website, just like everything else is too. And you still have to apply. Right. Right. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about some of those uh, eligibility requirements. So um, eligible applicants uh, who qualify for this benefit in particular, including families of veterans who died while in service or have been deemed totally and permanently disabled from injuries caused by their time in service. Okay. So um, just some of the eligibility pieces there, um, a service member who may be, uh, or uh, sorry, dependent of a service member who may be missing in action or captured in the line of duty. Again, a couple other eligibility requirements there, but um, go ahead and apply if, uh, if you do meet the eligibility requirements. And again, don't miss out on that benefit um, if you rate it. Okay. If you rate it there. All righty. Uh, let's move on to the, um, well, I guess the the third block here, the disability block. This is really our bread and butter, right? VA Claims Insider, we, we, um, we educate veterans on filing their disability claims. So we can go ahead and talk a little bit about this, Ian. Um, let's see here. So you know, we can, we can do a few things here under the disability block. We can check our claim or appeal status. Uh, view your payment history, upload evidence to help support your claim. So if you have an open claim uh, that you need to upload new and relevant uh, evidence to, you can go ahead and upload it here within this disability box. Um, You can actually file the claim for a VA disability increase or file a claim for compensation altogether. Those are our options there. Do you want to, um, do you want to touch on the intent to file piece of this or, or checking your VA claim status? Sure. And while you're doing, and then we're going to let you know too, whenever you're filing your intent to file, you're going to stop right there. You're, you're going to actually, uh, that's going to be just the intent to file. So typically it's just known as the save the date. Um, you can right. use a date that you're going to remember, or you can just do it whenever that's that option's available to you. Um, always do it in that month because that month is going to be known as a wash month. And then the next following month is going to be actual pay month and following and so on and so forth. Um, so, and they don't pay in halves. So even if you do it in the middle of the month, again, it's not going to be paid in a half a month, which is generally why the first month is known as the wash month. Um, but it's very important, you know, you need to know or let, let the VA know that you may have an intent to file or an intent to actually file a claim within the next 360 Technically, it's 364 days, but it does label for 365 days. But you do have the full year to file the claim. Now, that doesn't mean that your claim has to be appealed or adjudicated or rated by that time frame. That's just the time frame that you have the availability to file that claim. And then when it, even if it does go past your intent to file, you're still going to get paid at the date of the intent to file from the original date. Um, there's stipulations to the rule. Um, appeals can change things. Um, HLRs can change those, those statutes too. So, um, definitely if you, you have a coach or if you're not already with a coach, um, again, like we said before, get on that discovery call, get talking with one of our business development representatives so that you can get on board and start the process. Um, but again, like I said, this is very crucial. This is the most important part of getting this started so that you can actually get a claim filed. 
and this is the page we were looking for here. So filing your disability compensation uh, with this 526 EZ form, okay? So uh, again, after you sign in, you can go ahead and, and go through that login login process and then filing the claim process. And, and like Ian said, when you hit that uh, hit that intent to file, you can go ahead and stop there until you've gathered all, you know the rest of your uh, your evidence. Um, now we here at VA Claims Insider, we recommend um, filing fully developed claims. OK, so the fully developed claim uh, program versus the standard claim program, um, you know, the fully developed claim basically says I have all my medical evidence and I'm serving it up to the VA on a silver platter. OK, so that's what we recommend doing here. Gather all your evidence after you submit the intent to file, gather all your evidence and and prepare to, to serve up a fully developed claim. OK, and again, if you do sign up for our elite program, your your coach will walk you through exactly which type of evidence or which kind of evidence you need to uh, you need to acquire to help support your claim. Um, because, again, the number one reason the VA denies claims is based on the lack of medical evidence. Um, one other thing I do want to mention here is um, on VA.gov, um, you can submit a claim. Um, a first time claim, you know, your initial claim, you can submit a primary disability or a secondary condition, a second dis uh, secondary disability. The other thing you can do here on VA.gov, and I mentioned it earlier when I was talking about the search function, is you can actually file uh, uh, an appeal, a higher level review appeal. OK, so an HLR. Um, again, if you use the search function up in the top right hand corner, type in HLR, HLR, um, the results will pop up pick the first result, result, how to file that HLR, and, and you'll walk through. It's a four-step process. You'll walk through those uh, those four steps. But it's actually, a, they actually just streamlined this within the past year or so where you don't have to fill out the HLR form anymore. You just do everything online, again, with that four-step process. It makes it, makes it pretty, uh, um, pretty easy to navigate and go ahead and file at least that one type of appeal. Of course, other appeals exist. You know, you have a supplemental claim lane where if your claim gets denied and your HLR option isn't on the table, remember, um, for those of, you, those of you who have seen other classes and, and other lives before, an HLR can only be filed within the first 12 months of that denial. OK, so if the VA denies your claim. You want to file an HLR. You have to file it within that 12 month time frame. Also, you want to evaluate what type of evidence you submitted with that first claim. Was it enough evidence to produ uh, produce a, a positive result on that claim? If not, you may not want to go the HLR route. You may want to go what's called the supplemental claim route. And a supplemental claim can, uh, there are a couple things there. That can be filed at any time after a denial. It doesn't have to be within a certain time frame. It can be 10 years or 20 years since your denial. You still can file a supplemental claim. But the key with the supplemental claim is you need to introduce new and relevant evidence. OK, new and relevant evidence. You can't do that with the HLR. You can only do that with a supplemental claim. OK, so if you need to introduce new and relevant evidence, you can go the supplemental claim route. That's you utilizing um, a different website. It won't be VA.gov. It's part of the, um, the direct upload process or the quick submit process. We have some other resources on that as well. But um, anyway, just want to cover a few things with the appeal route. And then obviously um, the Board of Veteran Appeals routes. OK, the BVA board. Um, if, you're, if your claim has been denied, maybe you've gone the HLR process, maybe you need the Board of Veterans Appeals to take a look at your claim. That is a very lengthy process. Okay, so some I've seen some comments here. I've heard some comments from other veterans. They're in the middle of that process. Some of them have been in the middle of that process for years. So again, just want to highlight a couple of the appeal routes as we're discussing uh, filing, um, filing claims here on VA.gov. So cool. All righty. Let's go ahead and discuss our next block here, uh, records, that bottom right-hand uh, right block, Ian. So yeah, under records, records, yeah, under records, you know, we can go ahead and get our veteran ID cards. Have you applied for your veteran ID card through this portal? Not through the portal. Um, okay. I had my VA card before. Um, okay. Then recently, you know, we had this discussion not so long ago. Yeah. Um, I waited too long and I got mine and expired and then found out that the VA or the, the ID cards had completely changed yeah. um, and then went to the, the deers process and did all that stuff. So this one is actually your, your actual VA card. It's, I believe is what they're talking about for the veteran ID cards. 
um, and you can apply for one. Uh, you can go directly to your VA and they'll do it in the personnel department. Usually takes about five minutes, literally, and depending on the, the, the workload of the, of the person behind the counter too. Um, I did a, a basic walk-in and had my card within five minutes, um, but it does, it can be a little bit daunting um, and it does have both uh, health identification cards or an, a regular ID card. And it just identifies you as the veteran. Um, and I don't remember if it shows a percentage. I don't think it does uh, unless you're permanent in total. Um, I know the new ID cards, when you get them from uh, a military facility, whether it's an Air Force base or an Army post, um, those will identify your disability if you deem. Now, um, if you're retired or you're medically retired, apparently the um, other card, uh, the permanent in total, doesn't trump your right retiree card. Your retiree card actually trumps the 100% card, according right. to Deers. All right, good information there. Yeah, and just to, just to cover what this uh, what VA.gov covers, you know, so a veteran health ID card, a veteran ID card, uh, veterans designated on the state issued driver's license or ID. Again, there's some eligibility requirements there, but um, again, this is just that kind of that high level overview on what is available on VA.gov. Uh, one other thing we already did discuss was getting your VA medical records online. Um, again, downloading that blue button report. Um, I did see a comment here in the in the chat. And I do want to recognize it. I forget who said it or how far back it was, but um, the blue button report with the problems list. That problems list is super powerful if you're going to file a disability claim. Okay, you, that that gives you a pretty good jump off point or starting point as you start to uh, gather your evidence and work on your diagnoses and, and treatment plans for what you're going to go want to apply for. So I appreciate the veteran who dropped that in the, uh, the comment box there as well. So let's talk about uh, discharge upgrades. What do you say, Ian? This could be another daunting process too. Um, if you have an other than honorable, dishonorable, bad conduct discharge, or any of those other discharges that are not honorable, uh, you have to file for a, an upgrade. You have to apply for a discharge upgrade in order to obtain this. Um, in order to get the uh, the, uh, the upgrade, um, it's still a process. It's still something that you're going to have to go through with the VA. They're going to do their own investigation to see if it was deemed necessary for the upgrade. Um, I have seen that ones that were 10 years back get upgraded pretty easily, but again, they'll have to do their own investigative process in order to get the upgrade. They'll issue a new DD-215 along with the new DD-214. The 215 will show the upgrade, the process of whatever it was that they upgraded it to, the date, and then they'll reissue a new DD-214 after the fact. Right. Right. And a couple couple of reasons, you know, we ask the question, why all the time? Why would I need a discharge upgrade? Well, there are certain benefits that you can't uh, that you're not eligible for unless you actually receive that discharge upgrade. So if you need if you need upgrade to your discharge code uh, and uh, on your DD214, go ahead and check out this uh, this benefit here. If you're if you're eligible, then go ahead and um, and sign up for that and go through the, the step by step process that Ian was talking about. Um, this is another thing that we um, we recommend our veterans do if they need to. If you can't find your DD-214, you have no idea where it is, maybe you got lost in a move, um, uh, whatever your situation is, some filing cabinet somewhere in a storage bin or, or under the bed somewhere. Um, if you need to go ahead and request a new DD-214, this is the uh, the step-by-step -step process uh, you would go through here. This redirects you to Mill Connect. And Ian, I think you were saying, saying the other day that you had gone through this process yourself. Is that right? Yeah, and I've shown a couple of veterans, and it, it's really a quick process as long as you've got the appropriated uh, time frames. So there's going to be stipulations to this. This is mostly for the ones that have been during the digital world uh, when everything has mm -hmm. gone to digits or a digital system. Um, but it's quick. Uh, once you do the request, once you request uh, any and all your records, uh, it can happen in as little as, as 15 minutes, but they do provide that this says it can take up to 24 hours. So please allow that. Don't, don't take my experience uh, for yours because it could be different. Um, they, please do allow that 24 hour period, uh, but you can check it often too. You can go there and refresh the request and then once it does, it's going to show everything that you've requested. So if it's just a DD-214, it's going to show your DD-214 in a PDF format. 
And then you can upload that to your, your portal if you're already an elite client. Um, or you can just keep it for your records if you're not an elite client. Uh, and again, uh, we're, we're going to alleviate it to, you know, get with our business developer representatives, get on that three, that free 30 minute call so that you can get on board and then join us here at VA Claims Insider as an elite. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's super, super useful. It's super, super, uh, beneficial to, to have those things. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Awesome, Ian. Well, that was a lot of information really, really quickly. Let's go ahead and uh, scan for some questions. Again, our topic today, how to fully utilize VA.gov and, and take advantage of everything that's offered on VA.gov. There, there's so much to cover here. It's, it's kind of, I can't believe we're running up to <laughs> less than 10 minutes left with our uh, our live here. But um, a couple of things that I've seen here in the, um, and I appreciate everyone chiming in about, you know, your dog eating your TD214 or losing it in the mail. <laughs> that's, that's actually really funny, made me chuckle. But um, I see a couple, um, a couple themes here, um, some questions that are very similar um, let's go ahead and take a stab at a couple, a couple people were saying that they've won their claim. Hey, I'm super happy for you. Yeah. Uh, whether you win your claim with our organization or on your own or with another organization, Hey, congratulations. Um, I'm glad the VA is, is actually recognizing for what you legally, morally, and ethically deserve. So that's awesome. Uh, I have uh, Richard Wagner saying he missed coffee with the coaches and seeing everyone on the Hollywood squares. That's what we, that's what we call it here uh, at VA Claims Insider. So yeah, thanks Richard for the shout out. Hopefully we get to uh, get to see you tomorrow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for checking us out today, Richard. Uh, Ian, do you see any questions that stand out to you right off the bat? There's one that talks about stepchildren. Let me get back to it. These benefits that are eligible for your children, do these same benefits apply to stepchildren? Absolutely. Um, if they're in there in, in the system, make sure they're in your deer system as well. Uh, deers and VA don't talk. So that make sure that the both of them are once you go after ID cards and those things too, for both your stepchildren and for your children. Um, my daughter is my stepdaughter. I mean, she's my daughter in that sense that I've been in her life for the last 12 years. Right. So in that sense, you still, she still has an ID card. She's still in my dear system. So yes, Jerry, absolutely get them on your benefits. They do apply. You do get the credit for those, for those children as well. They're on your right. benefit. Right. Yep. Thanks Ian for that explanation there. Uh, I've got a question from Robert Barkley. Um, back, uh, he asked it a while ago. So I'm just, again, scrolling back through these questions. Why is it taking so long to get a decision? Been in the decision stage for a month, maybe even a little bit longer. Yeah, brother, we're, um, we're seeing that across the board here. A lot of decisions are getting delayed. There are a couple reasons for that. Some of that is based on regional offices and their capacity and their workload and their workforce. Um, another part of it is all of these PACT Act claims that most every veteran is aware of. They started um, they started being processed back on January 1st. So everyone who is applying for PACT Act uh, claims over the past six months or, or a year or so, um, they, they haven't been looked at until the start of this year. So there's a huge backlog that the, the VA is trying to work through. So the average time that we see here uh, within our organization is about 120 days from the claim submission. Now that's with the fully developed claim. You've submitted it with all your evidence. Uh, you, you gave everything to the VA on a silver platter. So again, we're seeing about 100, 120 days between when a veteran submits their claim uh, possibly having a CMP exam, whether it's an in-person exam or a video exam, uh, or even just a records review. Sometimes the VA just reviews the records and makes a decision off of those, uh, those records, um, and then a decision. So again, about 100, 120 days between when you file the claim and when you, when you receive a decision. So um, I like to tell my veterans, you know, keep an eye on your bank account. If you're owed any back pay, you might get a you might get a big chunk of money uh, in your bank account that usually tips you off that you won your claim. The other way um, to get a heads up on when your claim is won is check out your VA.gov account. Um, your rated disabilities will be listed there under your name. Um, if you see an overall increase there, that tips you off that you won your claim. Um, and then, of course, e-benefits. Um, is, is still available, I think, for most veterans or probably even every veteran. You can still go to your uh, disability screen or disability page and see the breakdown of what you're rated for. Uh, but if you see any changes there to your rating, 
uh, your overall rating. That's that's going to be some of the some of the first places you'll see that rating change happen way before you get the the snail mail letter in the mail, which takes ten to fourteen days to get sent out to you. So. Anyway, um, again, I've seen a couple comments there. Yeah, the VA is pretty backed up. That's a long-winded answer there. So, um, I see some sleep apnea, respiratory conditions. Um, the the main thing I want everyone to remember is you need a diagnosis. Okay, for this applies to every condition. You need you need a diagnosis, um, or you don't have a claim. Okay, so go out to your doctor get a specialty appointment lined up, go get a sleep study lined up, go get a diagnosis, gather all your medical evidence. If you need a nexus letter, if you need coaching, jump on board with our organization. We are, we're here ready, willing, and able to help you uh, file and win your disability claims. Okay. We can get you in touch with the right medical professionals to help win your claim. Like Ian mentioned earlier, they can write up DBQs. Uh, they can write up nexus letters um, and, and help you, as you uh, as you file that claim with that medical evidence again we have our one-on-one -on -one coaching model we walk you through each and every step of this process with our one-on-one -on -one coaching model or our you know our live classes that we hold daily okay so if you need our help we're able to <laughs> we're able to be there for you for that one-on-one -on -one coaching time where we have our strategy sessions uh, we walk you through how to submit your claim. We have a ton of resources available within uh, within our veteran community our elite, uh, community where you have access to what we call the insider portal. Okay. Um, and then of course, we're going to prep you up for any and all of your exams that you have, uh, upcoming, whether it's with the VA, with a CMP exam, one of their contracted partners, um, et cetera, et cetera. We help you out with, um, with coaching you up for those exams. Okay. And again, quick reminder, we have our live classes, uh, weekly. And if you need to get in touch with us, please, please grab, a. Uh, Grab some time with one of our BDRs, one of our business development representatives for a discovery call. If we can drop that link there in the comments, we can certainly um, um, certainly help you out if you go ahead and book that call with us. Uh, we'd love to be able to help you out. So this is what we get to do each and every day, and, and we love doing what we do. So uh, if you want to learn more, schedule that free call. They'll answer any and all of your questions and then match you up with a coach that will, um, that will, uh, take you the rest of the way with your, uh, with your disability claim. Okay. Anything to, uh, to add there, Ian, as we, uh, as we get ready to wrap up? No, we're closing out pretty quick. A uh, lot of information given out here. Hope you guys got a lot out of this today. Um, I do see another question in here, a pretty easy one. Uh, I'm employed in TMP or permanent in total. Can I use the voc rehab program? Absolutely. Yes. Um, there is a percentage where it starts, um, and it doesn't end until you use it. Uh, you just have to qualify Sabina to be able to uh, get that that uh, that benefit back. Um, and then another one, uh, Caleb just alleviated to how much does this cost to work with VA Claims Insider? Get with one of our great business development representatives. They'll explain everything from costs and how the program works. And what we do as far as the SEM method, that strategy, education, and medical evidence gathering method that we utilize uh, every single day. I don't remember a day I don't use it <laughs> uh, with, with my clients because that's exactly what we do. We have to strategize with you first. We have to provide you with some education in order to um, educate you on the process. Uh, this may be a daunting process to you. Um, but we've been doing this for quite a while. We, we've kind of grasped a really gripped con concept of what we need to do. And then providing that medical evidence, Caleb also said, probably at least 80% of my vets come to me and they're saying, uh, I got denied. Well, you probably got denied because you didn't have a medical nexus or a link to service or one piece of the Calusa triangle, which you'll learn more about later on in more, more calls if you're, if you're not already on board. Um, but that's a bigger piece. If one of those pieces of the Calusa triangle are missing, the VA is just going to deny you. That's the law of the VA. Uh, and that's just how it works. Yep. Yep. Love it. Thanks for those, uh, parting words of wisdom, Ian. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for hosting with me today. Happy Wednesday to you. I'm sure I'll see you around our virtual hallways here, uh, in a few minutes later on this afternoon. So thanks for spending some time with me and co-hosting with me. Always a good time to, to hang out with you. Thank you to all of our veterans here, uh, watching us on live, uh, from one grateful veteran to another. Thank you so much for all of your service. Um, take care. Have a great rest of your Wednesday and be safe out there, okay? Take care, everyone. Welcome home, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.